Welcome to On Air with Cash. Our guest today is an award-winning actor and writer who can next be seeing portraying basketball legend Larry Bird in Winning Time, The Rise of the Lakers Dynasty, premiering on HBO March 6th. Please welcome Sean Patrick Small. Thanks for having me. Sean, it's really a pleasure to have you on the show today. What a year this has been for you. There is a story behind this. Actually, we crossed paths a few years ago. The Just was an official selection at Film Fest LA at LA Live. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we have a film block there, Cash Hovey and Friends. Congratulations on that film. Yeah, it came home with the Best Actor Award, so I can't complain about that. <laughs> oh, man, that is so cool. I know Film Fest LA at LA Live is great. USC actually came, the scoop came to cover uh, some red carpet footage. So it was really, a, and yeah, they're just really a festival I've been involved with. Congratulations on that win. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it was a fun time. And I'm happy to hear that there's a USC footprint out there as well with that <laughs> you grow up you're playing basketball there's already these comparisons how you look and play with Larry Bird and the number 33 and so then you go to USC you're writing you're directing you're making films a friend recommends Seth Davis's book when March went mad the game that transformed basketball it details the legendary NCAA championship that launched the rivalry between Bird and Johnson so you're already developing this particular project at the same time the HBO series is in development there's another actor, Bo Burnham. He was previously cast as Bird. Scheduling conflict comes up. Everything just seemed to line up. Within two weeks, you have an audition and then you book this role. And it really takes place right after the project that you were developing. Yeah, yeah. So um, like you said, like my friend recommended this book to me because I had been thinking about acting and writing when I got to USC. And like, how do I intertwine those two worlds together? And, you know, I'd always been told I look like Bird. I played basketball my whole life. You know, I wore 33 to try to emulate his game, like you said. Um, and so I was like, all right, let's 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 see if he has like a good enough story to write about. Um, and my friend, Sammy Meckler, he was like, well, there's this really cool book that I read called When March Went Mad. It's about Bird and Magic. So you could start there. And I read that and was like, oh, wow. Okay, yeah, he definitely has a story that, can be told like his backstory from high school just to the 1979 championship game is like unreal so I developed that uh turned it into a mini series about him and magic and like intertwining their storylines and what they went through to get to the rivalry um we eventually attached um Thomas Carter who co who directed coach Carter and is an Emmy winning director to it and are still pitching it and then come June I see a casting notice pop up, but I didn't really even see it. So my wife's sister's friend texted my wife's sister, who then texted me and was like, hey, I know you've been working on this Larry Bird thing. There's this casting out for this Adam McKay HBO show. You should do it. And I'm like, yeah, I should. And then that's when the whole whirlwind of I got the self-tape audition. I did a Zoom call back to the producer's room, Zoom call back waited a week in limbo of like, am I going to get the role and then booked it. And then two weeks later, I was on set. That is such a phenomenal story. So I mean, from that moment of, you know, I'm already writing the story. They're doing this other project, but it just the stars lined up perfectly. You get yeah. the audition, you're on set within two weeks. And I know what that limbo period's like, trust me. You know, you yeah. have a week and have something the high stakes. But it's some the thing that's so fascinating about your story, it's a project that you're so connected to. So even just like coming from your project and then to just jump on set to this HBO series. I mean, really, what was it like to just arrive on set and recreate these epic sports scenarios? Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I've been saying this more often than not, like the word surreal has been overused in my vocabulary the past like nine months. Um, yeah. When I walked on set for the first time, it was just, you know, for like a small scene or whatever, but I was like, Oh, this is becoming real. And then I started training with the basketball trainer and like in order to get into the silhouette of Larry Bird on the court, like how he moved, how he dribbled, how he shot. Um, and it was like, you know, I always told my friends it's the closest thing to being a professional basketball player because I'm getting paid to play basketball. So it was like a dream come true with like, I don't know, the stars aligned perfectly and then the environment on set and the cast and crew were just amazing. Oh, I bet. I mean, you got John C. Riley, Adrian Brody, Sally Field, Michael Chiklis, Jason Siegel, Quincy Isaiah, who's playing Magic. How was that? Yeah, really, what was it like to work with Quincy and then to really recreate this epic sports rivalry? 
Oh, it was so great because like, you know, him and I are both on set just kind of like, this is awesome. Like, you know, it's kind of our, obviously for him, it's like this massive, like life-changing event. And for me at the same time, it is too. And to be able to just like play in the scene with him and like throw things back and forth. Cause like off camera, we're cool. We're like we're really, you know, we're really good friends and stuff like that. So we're able to dive even deeper into that rivalry and that tension and everything. Cause we're comfortable enough with each other. Um, so playing with that on set was like, I mean, it was just fun. It was like a playground of acting. So that was, yeah, it was very enjoyable. It's on my calendar. I can't wait. I grew up in LA. So I'm very familiar with the rivalry. I mean, Magic Johnson, growing up here, I've run into him a couple of times. He's a great guy. This is, it's really just kind of taking me home into my childhood. And uh, really, I, I'm so happy for you. Is there anything that you would like to say to your fans out there? Come March 6th, you know, get your HBO Max and TV ready. <laughs> <laughs> and I do understand there are some plans to pursue the project that you were originally working on. Your project leads up to where winning time begins. Are we going to see this project eventually? We're still out there, still pitching. So hopefully we can get it off the ground shortly. Yeah, the, that's the that's the goal. Sean, it's been an honor talking to you. I'm so happy for you and all of your success. Everyone, you need to follow Sean Patrick Small. You can watch him on March 6th on HBO, Winning Time, The Rise of the Los Angeles Lakers Dynasty. You deserve all the success in the world. I'm so proud of you. You just keep rocking. Thank you. Thanks for having me on. This was a blast. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and Sean Patrick Small today. You are on air with cash.